Now, I don't like to diagnose or give medical advice online, but if I were to guess, this is most likely tinea versicolor, which is a yeast process. If we were to scrape the surface of the skin, we would see the spaghetti and meatballs look microscopically because this yeast is called malassezia. You've probably heard of this yeast when we talk about dandruff or seborrheic dermatitis. There are different types of malassezia and it could be slightly different from the yeast that's on your scalp, but it could also be the same yeast from the scalp coming down onto the body, especially in the summertime. Spaghetti and meatballs, I know. Dermatologists, we have weird food references. So tinea versicolor will present in these hypopigmented white spots or hyperpigmented, it has a little bit of scale as well. Sometimes we will treat this with oral anti-yeast medications, but in general, I've seen people have success with selenium sulfide, which goes after the malassezia yeast, or even more targeted is ketoconazole 1% shampoo. We would use this every day for two to four weeks. Hopefully that does a trick. In terms of prevention, this creator asks for prevention. I will use this for dandruff and wash my scalp, but I would also bring it down to the body to wash my body, especially if I was sweating in the gym or it's summertime. I grew up in Hawaii and we have a lot of humidity. So people from Hawaii were very familiar with this condition. Very relevant post because the weather's nice out there. This helps, peace.